Today we're going to be doing a walk around and most importantly a test drive of, uh, in my opinion, one of the best years of the Chevelle, and that is a 1967 Chevelle Super Sport. This one's been rotisserie restored, still sports its numbers matching, 396 under the hood. I uh, just listen to it. All muscle. It is all muscle. And the cool part about this car is it, it was restored probably uh, sometime back in the 90s. So even though it's still a show quality car from bumper to bumper, the restoration's got 20 to 30 years on it, which uh, it's just so cool because it just proves that how solid of a car it is. And the underneath, I was super impressed by the undercarriage of this car. All painted body color, beautiful shine to it still. Man, this Super Sport's really got a bark to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Was a factory air car. So if a guy ever wants to put that back on, um, at least the box and the inside controls and stuff were all there. Power steering, no power brakes, but the brakes stopped great. So we'll uh, kind of get to that on our test drive. But numbers matching 396. Bottom of the hood is painted beautiful. Just a really nice quality restoration when it was done. Like I said, years ago, but uh, you can't tell it. On bottom sides, all painted blue, just like the, you know, it's almost as nice as the top side. It looks gorgeous. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, to see all those uh, nice undercarriage photos. Real 138 car, super sport, numbers matching 396. Great hood gaps from front to back. Back of the hood lines up really nicely as well. I personally like the 67 hoods just a little better than the sixes. You know, it's got the dual scoop right here as well, um, instead of just having the, the chrome mover. What a great color on this car. Yeah. A lot of metallic in that blue, great with the black vinyl top. I love the choice of wheels too. We just put these wheels on at Dalton. Brand new American Racing Torque Thrust chrome wheels, new tires, and uh, Put some new air shocks on the back just to give it that, uh, just to give it a little more muscle car stance. The guy can adjust that, do whatever you want to do. It still has its original 396 turbojet emblems on there, which is pretty cool. Original wheel well trim still intact. Rocker molding is all original as well. The other thing is, as we go around this with an older restoration, just super solid down low. I mean, it's not chipped up, not blistered in any way. Gives you a little idea of the undercarriage. Again, you can get better ones at our uh, website, coyoteclassics.com. Back of the hood lines up nice. Like you said, it this marina blue, as far as the metallic, it just jumps right out at you. It's gorgeous. And if you're someone that's really picky on gaps, you know, you want a car with, with excellent gaps, this is the car for you. Look at the way the door fit, trunk and hood line up excellent. You know, whether it be a clone or a real one, it doesn't really matter to me so much, but there's a lot of purists out there that won't buy a clone. They just want a real deal 138 car, and that's exactly what this has. Um, what's cool about the restoration is like the radio, the Rockford Fosgate 6x9. Yeah. Um, another thing I think is just so cool, it just tells that, you know, that it's dated. Um, you got a little amplifier here under the dash. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, aftermarket gauges, factory clock. Council's in great shape. Seats um, are in real decent shape too, but I did see a, like you said, the um, driver's side seat probably would need a new cover. It's got a little split over here to the driver's side, which kind of surprises me. I'm guessing something must have cut it because the rest of the seats look great. Back seat's excellent. Door panels are nice. Dome light works. Headliner's nice and tight. Visors look original. Rear view mirror's good and tight. dash pad is perfect windshields nice the black paint on the top of the dash is in good shape too as far as a lot of the interior um you can see some of this stuff still original the super sport trim here is original it does need a glove box glove box light works though you see the reflection out there 
AM FM aftermarket Chevy cassette. And your AC car, it's got the vents there. Um, a lot of the trim just in here, it could easily be restored, um, replaced. Door panel's in great shape. Mm -hmm. Door rubbers, felts are all excellent. As Dalton mentioned, I mean, look at the corners of the doors, how nice and tight it fits in here to the quarter panel. If you look up and down the sides of the car, a laser straight body, all wet sanded and buffed. Bumpers are clean, tail light, lenses are excellent, chrome bezels are beautiful around there as well. Good, nice trunk gap. If you look here, it's got just a little tiny little chip that's been touched up right there. Top of the trunk lid is awesome. Another thing, we talk about this metallic, a lot of times you can kind of see zebra stripes in a, a real metallic car. Um, this one's paint was laid out very nicely, I don't see that at all. Definitely a professional job by whoever did it. Previous owner told me that uh, this was the first paint job um, by a very, very high dollar restoration company now. This was his first car he ever painted. Really? Yeah, and he uh, you can't even get cars into him anymore, Harley. He's so busy. Um, I don't know if it's from the Wisconsin or Minnesota area, but um, kind of cool story. It was his first car he painted. And it was just, did a hell of a job. Yeah, he Plus did. Hold up. That's what I love about restorations like this that have some age on them. You really know how the work was done. Um, except if it looks like this after 20 years. You, you know, know you got a good one, huh? Yep. Bottom of the door again, gaps are great. Got a couple little chips here on the edge of the door. Right there. Quarter panel's fantastic. Top of the door lines up good. Got a little bit of buffing compound right here. It looks like a scratch, but it's not. Just a little buffing compound. A couple more tiny, tiny little chips right along the edge of the front of the door. No bubbles or blisters. It's got a little ding right here. Just a little ding right there. Really not much to mention on the on the paint on it. The vinyl top is awesome. Nice and clean, no bubbles under there whatsoever. Doors, fenders, everything was painted off the car. Again, driver's side seat. Needs a new cover, just on the outside. It's just thin here. You can tell it's got a little tear in it. Um, other than that, uh, seats are in great shape. Carpet's awesome. Here's your 138 code. Real super sport. Charges, good oil pressure. Um, we're at about 140. It's a hot one. It is warm. Horn's not working. talked about the dome light working earlier. I like the aftermarket tack too. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, it fits with the times. It does. <clears throat> as far as our idle right now, we're running about 600 RPM, which tells us really nice about the cam as well. You know, it's not super lopy. I mean, you have just a little bit of a chop. thing sounds too. awesome though. Yeah. Muscle car, all the way. Power steering unit on this thing is super smooth. Looks like an aftermarket system on it, so I really like it. I mean, there's this '67 GTOs, '67 Chevelle Super Sports. What a great looking body style! Absolutely. brakes just drum a nice full pedal
4,500 miles an hour. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be that nuts. Be pretty cool. It's got a lot of pull to it. Yeah, it sure does. Um, it's got some lower gears. We're doing about I was 70, 75, um, about 3,500 RPM. It looked like. So it's probably got some 411s in it. I'm guessing. Again, our brakes stop nice. Coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching.